What's up, Mother Microsoft? Welcome back to another comedy story on Mother Shenanigans channel. I appreciate you sticking around. Make sure you hit that follow, like, subscribe, any way you want to check out the channel. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it don't matter. We're all around, so come check us out. Alright, what's up, Mother Mob Squad? There's another comedy story that I've been dying to tell you guys about. Alright, so when I turned, um, another true story at that, when I turned around 18, 17, 18, and 19, I, I was living in BC, Canada, and I just got really, really bored and restless, so I took a job selling subscriptions door to door for magazines so like those tabloid magazines the worst ones and they were expensive like 110 dollars for like 52 weeks of like star magazine and all that so they were crazy expensive and we went everywhere on the west coast of canada all the way from manitoba to bc to calgary all the way that so speaking of calgary we ended up stopping in calgary when I was with the company for a couple months now, and they ended up having, it happened to be the end of the year, so they were having this massive end of the year party, right? So, they ended up having this huge party, the company was celebrating their top salesmen and all that, so there was, there was those dinners where you go and the portions are real, real, real small, but you're paying like $500 a plate, and it's, I would never eat there because I'm just poor as fuck. So, anyways, but we got a plus one to this thing, and I literally didn't know what the heck I was going to do. So the company says, it's our company year-end party and awards, so I'm still new, and I don't know anybody at this, at this award thing. I don't know anyone in Calgary, because I've never been there, and so the deal is, it's a super formal event. So, everyone's going to be, um, like, dressed up to the nine, limo ride to the, to the restaurant and everything, and the little banquet thing, and there's, like, that three-course meal, and I was like, damn, three days, uh, three days or three weeks into this, uh, this job, and I'm, uh, impressing me, damn, like, this is crazy. So then, so then they say, Chris, I say, yeah, right? They say, you're able to bring a plus one, like a girlfriend or wife or like family member to like show them how much that like this is awesome and we'll pay for the cost per plate. And the cost per plate was like $500. It was insane. This is a restaurant I've never heard of, never, couldn't even afford it in my life. So what did this shy, classy fella do? Not knowing anyone from Calgary. I took the dang bus to the mall. I know what you're thinking. This guy totally picked up at the mall. Oh, hell no. I did you one better. I picked up on the bus towards the mall. So, I said, well, no. I didn't even make it to the mall because one I was worried I was gonna get lost so I panicked I looked around I saw the first cute girl not with a guy next to them obviously because that would have been weird I said I said not like it mattered anyhow like I would have asked even if there was a guy because who's gonna turn up a limo ride right <laughs> so anyways so I'm like hi I'm Chris uh, I've been, have you ever been in a limo? And obviously she's like, no. So I'm like, okay, well, this is going to be weird, but I've only been here a couple weeks and been with the company a couple weeks in Calgary a couple days. And, and, uh, we're going to go to this big dinner and whatnot. And she's, she's like, what? Of course. And I thought she was going to bring out the mace and go, fuck it, ah, stranger! Right? But that didn't happen, so that was weird. So at this point, I'm thinking, uh, okay. Right? And then, so, 
But the funny thing is, is she didn't actually start responding. Uh, I said, hi, my name's Chris, right? And she didn't say anything, right? And I said, hi, have you ever, um, have you ever been uh, in a limo? So after a couple of things, I was like, have you ever been in a limo? And she said, no. And so I said, well, did you not hear me the first time? Or did she, was she just pretending to be deaf? But I said, I said, well, listen, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, a party. And it's fully plated, like, fully funded, crazy, crazy formal party. And there's free limo ride, free dinner, and everything. And I swear to God, her eyes parked up when she said free dinner and free limo ride. So I knew I had this this girl hooked, right? So I was at least going with a date, right? So limo row, it was just insane. So, but the crazy thing about it was we went to this thing. We went to the party and everything, okay? But that's not, that's not the best part of the story. The best part of the story is Limo Girl called me the next day. And you wanna know what she says? She invites me to her house. She says, hey, what's up? You invited me in a limo. I'm gonna invite you over and we're gonna, right? So I was like, all right, I'm a young idiot. And I obviously think with my penis. So I take a cab to this girl's house. And I shit you not, I pull up to the biggest house that I've ever seen and she greets me at the door and I'm thinking, what the heck? Like, I'm clearly in the wrong employment. Like, what does her family do? So she greets me at the door and the first thing I notice is I don't even like notice her. I walk in because she invites me in and I notice the floor. Why, you ask, I noticed the floor. Why? Why, Malib, why did you notice the floor? Because it was made of pennies. The entire floor. Just pennies everywhere. But not only the entire floor, the entire house! The entire house! The entire floor of the house was pennies everywhere, and then there was this sheet of, like, white, clear plastic, and... Oh my god. But then... But then... To make matters worse, to make matters worse, she then tells me, she then tells me. So my first thought is one, one, okay? Whose fucking job is it to put pennies in the floor and put all those pennies so they're, so they're not, so they're not bunched up, right? Like they, they're exactly touching. Right? Whose job would that be? Do you get a labor and be like, here, I'll pay you a penny a penny. Place a penny, pay you a penny. Pla pla place a penny, pay a penny. Oh man, that'd be hilarious. But then my next thought was, then she tells me in the middle of that thought, she said the person who made the floor went and pulled a fast one and said he put a dime somewhere in the house. Only one, only one, one, one people, one mother mob squad, one damn, damn penny, or one damn dime in the floor of pennies. Now, it has now become immediately in my head, or maybe aloud, I said, oh fuck, you just had to tell me that, didn't you? And she said, why, what's wrong? And I said, are you serious? I said, so she's walking on us upstairs. All sexy walk and everything, right? She's all doing a little, mm, yeah, like shaking her ass and whatnot. Me staring at the floor like an idiot looking for this damn dime. I'm looking everywhere. She's got me walking up the stairs. I'm looking for the dime. I'm like, where's this damn dime? I'm going to find it. Like, like it's a challenge at this point. And then, here comes the part, she walks me in the bedroom and she starts taking off her clothes and she presses a button, it shuts down the blinds, I'm like, Jesus, 
Jesus, I have to shut my own blinds. And I then, I'm like, I'm like, all right. I'm like, blinds closed. I'm like, what the heck? So I'm now, I'm now, we're now in, I feel like we're in like Lady Heather's room from like CSI type stuff. Cause like the blinds are closing and she's all, she's all getting all sexy like and everything's on a remote type shit. I'm thinking the door's gonna latch behind me and go, bam, latch, right? But then, so we start, we start kissing and and then I'm, I'm doing, it starts going further and further and then further and I'm, I'm going, I'm going down there and then I, I got, I got to switch the angle and I caught like a shimmer, like, you know how like, you're gonna, you're gonna go down and do one of the things, you're like, and then I caught like a shimmer out of my eye, okay, and that shimmer just set it off, it was the end, the shimmer was a disaster, I thought it was the dime, so I immediately hopped up all naked, and I said, oh my god, I found it, success, the dime has been found, and I'm on the floor, literally looking at the floor like it's gold, and I've just won the lottery. Meanwhile, I was just about to go down on this girl, so that's hilarious. I hopped up, and oh my god, I'm a naked man, hands on my knees. I'm like, what the fuck? I found it. This is ridiculous. And she's pro she's lying in bed like this. She's like, legs open like this, and she's like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. This fucking dime. This happens all the damn time. And I said, So is this the dime or not? <laughs> and she's like, She's fucking. She then, I look closer. Because she doesn't say anything. And I'm like, I'm looking, I'm, I'm getting real close. I'm like, Ah oh, shit, it's just a penny. It's just a little shiny penny. Damn it. And so then, this is how I knew I may have fucked up. She storms out of the bed, all naked, and storms out of the bedroom, screaming, screaming, and grabs me and says, The fucking dime is over here on the stairs. Now come fuck me all over. I then said, fine, but could I at least just go look to be sure? Because the last one seemed to be a shiny penny. Oh, I uh I definitely got a fucking hell no like a look. Like a look like a look like like one of those don't you fucking dare go look at that damn shiny dime. But I love quick times. Hell yeah, dude. But then we went and... Bam. Knock boots. That's what happens when you go to a crazy, crazy work party and end up... In the floor full of pennies. With one dime. You heard another true comedy story here on Mullet Shenanigan Channel. I hope you like the new setup. I love it. Anyways, you guys all have a great day. Follow, share, subscribe, any way you want to follow us. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. We are all around. Stick around. Come around. Hang out. Appreciate you guys for coming out. Peace out. I hope you like the stories. Bye.